today we'll be learning about the change of base technique for logs so this is very simple and um, it allows us to compute complex equations with different types of bases so for example if I have something like log 3 to the base 2 times log 5 to the base 4 how will I do this right now the rule of change of base applies because logs can only be computed if their bases are the same if we not if we noticed in the previous videos the rules of logs applied only when the base was the same so for something like log xy base a this is the same as this and this only applies if a is the same throughout therefore we use the rule of change of base to make sure that we can use these simple rules so that we can get an answer so let's derive this rule the rule of change of base I first let y be equal to log x base a just let y be equal to this so from this we can say that a to the power of y is equal to x because I'm moving the a to the other side of the equation so this becomes the power and this becomes the base and this is just left on its own so a to the power y is equal to x now suppose if I take log base b on both sides so this becomes log base b over here a to the power of y is equal to log base b of x what I've done is that I've introduced this on both sides of the equation and I've done this on both sides of the equation so that the results aren't um, tampered so if this and this goes I'm left with a to the power of y is equal to x which is what we have above so I have to introduce it on both sides of the equation so that's why I introduced log base b on both sides of the equation another rule which we which we had learned is if I have log a to the power of y base b this power can actually come down so this is the same as y log a base b is equal to log x base b if you are a bit confused now you can have a look at the previous videos regarding the rules of logarithms so that this doubt of yours can be cleared so I have this therefore if I want to make y the subject I'll divide both sides by log a base b So therefore y is equal to log x base b divided by log a base b. So as you can see I've just used simple substitutions to get y in terms of logs of both sides. We also realized that y was equal to log x base a. Therefore I'll substitute it back. So log x base a is equal to log x base b over log a base b this is the change of base technique this is the numerator bit this is the denominator bit and b is the new base so b is not equal to a so let me give you an example something like log 5 base 4 I want to make this into logs um, of base 2 how will I do this so my B becomes 2 my A is 5 and my X my A is 4 and my X is 5 so by using this rule um, the way how I'll do it is I'll have log of X which is 5 base b which is the base which I want and that becomes 2 so I have log 5 base 2 because my x is 5 and my base is 2 the b is 2 the b is the base which I want so therefore I have log 5 base 2 divided by log 4 base 2 so I've just changed this in terms of base of 2 so I have just translated this formula into this by just substituting stuff so I'm so 
here my x is 5 my a is 4 and my b is 2 because b is the desired base which i want now if i were to go a step further i know that 4 is equal to 2 squared so um i can still go go ahead and uh, actually get something else so this is the same as log 5 base 2 divide by log 2 log 2 squared base 2 now i'll continue this here um so now this 2 can come down here because of the of the law which we had learned earlier this power is here so this can come down here so this is the same as log 5 base 2 divided by 2 log 2 base 2 so i've just brought this power down here on this side so that becomes over here now another another rule which we had learned is if you have these two things are the same your your value of the log itself is actually one so this becomes two times one therefore the answer is actually log 5 base 2 divided by 2 this is another way on how you can express this in terms of this